The Hard Shoulder with Kieran Cuddy with Nissan on News Talk. Yes, that is just a little taste of If You Let Me. It is the current single from the Corona's new album, Time Stopped. It is going to be released on Friday, this coming Friday, October uh, the 7th. And the front man of the Corona's, Danny O'Reilly, is with me in studio. Danny, how are you? Good, Karen. How are you? I'm, I'm great. I'm great. I'm always conscious speaking to people, whether they be musicians, writers, authors, whatever it happens to be at the moment, that a lot of their work is kind of born of lockdown or yeah. COVID or came from that place is yeah. that true of this album? Yeah well I think even Time Stop the title sort of indicates that I mean initially I was like no it's not really a lockdown album but I was only going through we were on the promo trail this week and I did a podcast earlier on where we went through every single song you talk a little bit about every single song I was like yeah that's another one actually that was sort of written in lockdown and I sort of tried to approach the lyrics that it wasn't a pure lockdown pandemic album but I wrote the way I always write, which is personal to me, what's going on in my life and my relationships and friendships and about the band as well, but with the backdrop of the pandemic. So I I didn't want to ignore it, but I didn't want to embrace it head on either. Mm. And I think that sort of worked for me. So almost every song has a little... It might be about something else, but then it also has a little bit, and also the world's messed up as well. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, so just a little hint of it in each one, you know? Yeah, I guess the way, like, it, it impacted every aspect of our lives. So, yeah. I guess even if you're writing about relationships or anything else, if they happened with lockdown in the background, yeah, exactly. That's, going to, it, it influenced the relationships you are writing about. 100%. Ergo, it influences the and, writing. and initially, I was almost afraid to fully embrace it. I was like, well, what do I know? Apart from having the most unfortunate band name that ever was. <laughs> but it was like, what, what do I know? No, what can I? What sort of insight can I offer? And I was like, no, I'm not going to write about the pandemic. But then, as you say, you start writing, but everything else is futile. It, it was all connected, so it was like you know, it, nothing else sort of mattered when when the pandemic happened. So you couldn't ignore it either. So yeah, you're right. Yeah, it, it's funny, isn't it? Because I suppose we all migrated eventually to referring to it as COVID. But there <laughs> yeah. was the first six to nine months yeah. where it was the coronavirus. Yeah, I mean, you, I'm sure you, there's Google metrics. You, you probably yeah. came up. You probably shot up the Google search engine. List, yeah, well, I you? mean, I, I I I have Google alerts on for the corona. So like in Christmas 2019, I started spotting this thing happening in China. Like, uh, <laughs> so I was, I was sort of the canary in the coal yeah, mine. Exactly, I was the one telling a few people like around January, February, going, "There's this thing coming in," and they're like, "What is he? He's after turning into a crazy man." Like, you know, I was like, "No, lads, I'm telling you, there's this virus." So it was, it was definitely bizarre. It was, it was an extra level of of uh, bizarreness on an already bizarre situation when you just throw in there. And there was a moment where we were like, "Is this going to affect us or whatever?" But as you say. By all accounts, yeah, the sales of Corona beer and the streaming of Corona as the band has gone up. So yeah, I'd that's... like to think it's because we're releasing good music, but who knows? I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure it is. This is the seventh album, is that yeah, right? Yeah, hard to believe, yeah. I mean, we, we released the first album when we were kids. We hadn't even toured outside Dublin, never mind outside Ireland. And we just had a bunch of songs that we just sort of recorded and released. And we sort of just found our feet over this. So it's, we've, we've taken an unusual, I think, trajectory and journey over the years. And we never... We didn't sign with a major until our fourth album. Like, you know, usually bands would have an EP and then they'd sign to a, to a major or whatever. And so we took a sort of different route, but I think it's paid off for us in the long run. And the longer we're doing it, Kieran, the more I am proud of our longevity. Like, we're still at it, we still love it, and we're still, you know, touch wood selling tickets. So. Yeah, I guess because, you know, setting aside the kind of the bands who become stratospherically yeah. famous the, the the story arc is often kind of it's Icarus isn't it they kind of fly very close to the sun and they have their moment and they're gone you guys yeah. are around a yeah. couple of decades nearly. yeah exactly they to age you now anyway. yeah no absolutely no problem yeah, we were very young when we started very young but uh, yeah no it's it, it is that thing of you see when you're in it that it is difficult to keep to keep it keep it moving keep it interesting for everyone keep it evolving I suppose and and luckily, you know, touch wood, we're, we're, we're still enjoying it. We're still loving it. We love touring. We're going off on tour now in the middle of October. We're going to America, Europe and Australia all before Christmas. Like, And then we come back and we have our nights in the Olympia, which are just like Christmas, part of the Christmas calendar now for a lot of people, which is just amazing. So we're blessed. And as I say, the longer we do it, the more we appreciate that we're lucky to keep it, to, that we still enjoy it and that it doesn't feel like work and we're not just, you know, showing up and singing San Diego song and here's our ghosts and, you know, pe- mm. our crowd have grown with us. Like, And I think that's one of the other benefits of our slow trajectory as well is that they sort of grew up with us and they let us 
Yeah, it, 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 I just they, they came with us, I suppose, on the journey, as opposed to you know having a big hit, as you say, and and flying too close to the sun, and then it all just sort of fizzling out. So we've sort of had different chapters along the way, yeah. I think, you know. And um, that I guess bodes well for the future because the the fan base becomes embedded. Over yeah, time. fingers crossed. You never know. I mean, we'd never yeah. take it for granted. You just don't know what's going to happen, you know. But I mean, even in lockdown, I was like, I remember thinking if we, if we were only one or two albums in, this pandemic would really affect me. Like, I'd be like real anxious about how this is going to affect me. But because we're sort of around a while, as you say, we were a little bit more secure. And no, I think we'll have a crowd back. If mm. things come back, we'll have, we're, you know. We've had a, a loyal following, I suppose, you know. So we're we're very blessed to have that. So yeah, fingers crossed. Long may it continue. And when 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 you go off tour in the states, somewhere like that, I mean, mm. what what what's that experience? Is it kind of private jets, or is it more no, like something no. like almost famous? Yeah, yeah, much closer to that, like sleeper bus, and we're all wedged in. But and, that's great, yeah. is it? Oh, we love it. We we still love it, and we're absolutely buzzing to go away. Like the the venues we play outside Ireland. I mean, we we, we did a, a couple of big shows in the UK last week, and they're they're bigger venues. But and then in the big cities in. America, we would do good venues like New York and Chicago, but I mean, oftentimes we're playing in 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 smaller rooms. But we love that, like we love playing to all different size crowds, size rooms, and in America as well, they, they tend to know our more recent stuff more. They like you'd have people who had just found us on Spotify coming up to us after the show, going, "I didn't even know you had a back catalogue, or that you're Irish, or that you know, yeah." There's all these Irish flags around as well, in, interspersed in the crowd, so it's cool. Changing the set list, going on the road, you know, as I say, just all of us, you know, lugging gear around the place. It's it's a much smaller crew, a smaller mm. band, but we love it and we love the crack, like, you know. Is, is, is there an added pressure then when you're at home performing? Yeah, well, I think we put pressure on ourselves, but I think when, when you're doing the big shows, like, I tend not to get too nervous, like, if that's what you mean by pressure, because... They're already there to see you. It's like an open goal. Like even if you make a mistake and you forget the lyrics, they just go, "Oh, that's great! He forgot the lyrics," and you make yeah. a joke of it. Like you know. Whereas, um, more sometimes when you're supporting another band or playing at a festival, when you don't have a sound check and you're not sure if they're all the crowd are there to see you or you're supporting another band, or that's when I might be a little bit more nervous. Or or when we're on the road, I'd be nervous if that like we might get to a state in America and it's a huge venue, and I'm like, oh, this venue's going to look small, like going to look empty if we, how many tickets are gone. Like they're the things that I get anxious about. But as long as the crowd are in there, we're, we're sort of at the stage where we're confident enough that we can put on a good show, big or small crowd, and 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 we can get them with us. Mm. Like you know, so uh, I I just love the gig and like no, like I never. Don't, I, I just yeah get excited more than nervous do, do, you get, do you get nervous about the release of an album then yeah a bit more I suppose you're sort of you're so close to it and you're working on it for so long I'd say it's like writing something sometimes you're so you know embedded in it and then you can't really see the wood from the trees eventually you're like is this good bad or indifferent I don't even know I've been, yeah. I've been listening to it too often and the mixes and mastering and uh, writing the songs and they're just you're like the painter just looking yeah. at the one leaf on the trees exactly I just need to get that leaf Perfect, and you can you can go forever. Like I'll yeah. still listen. You know, uh, if you'll play if you let me at the end of this a bit of it, and I go, oh, maybe that snare sound isn't bang on. Like you know, yeah. You, you, but you have to let it go eventually. Yeah, and that's what releasing it is. Like it's sort of like we're proud of it. You put it out to the world, and then you don't really own it anymore. It's just out there. Like you know, and yeah, it's it's funny when you when you when you have that where you just go, okay, well, we're happy with it. Let's just put it out and see what happens. And you, you have to sort of. Yeah, like not give it too much power over you, not try and yeah. let it, let you get too too upset or nervous about it. You know. Uh, you mentioned festivals and playing at them. Uh, your mother was up on stage with you. Yeah. Electric picnic. Tell yeah. me about that. It was gas. It was amazing. My <laughs> mum. I was over, over dinner. Mary, with, I should say Mary Black. Mary for Black, people who are course. wondering, yeah. uh, why did Danny have his random mother up on stage? <laughs> yeah, not exactly. a random mother. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, so she said to me about a couple of weeks before. She goes, "I want to go to that electric picnic. Can you get me a pass?" And I was like, "Yeah, of course." And then I was like, "Actually, you might as well do a song with us." Like, so I said to the boys so we, we were like nervous that was when we were nervous back in Mary Black learning a, a woman's heart all week and four <laughs> lads going oh we better not get this wrong like you know the legend that is my ma like you know but uh, she loved it and it went down so well I was so glad I was happy happy for her but I was just happy it went down so well like you forget I mean everywhere I go people say to me like it doesn't matter where I am in the world I go oh I love your band but your mom like I grew up listening to yeah. Katie and Woman's Heart and No Frontiers and people you forget that even the younger generation grew up with it in the houses like you know so uh, I think my ma was delighted that, that all the young kids were singing Woman's yeah. Heart back your, to Roche, your sister who's been in on the show with yeah. me as well before she was with you as well yeah, yeah. so Roshan's been playing in the, in, in the band 
um, in the in our live band. It's sort of even though we're a three piece now, our sort of live band's getting bigger and bigger. Mm. We've got Lark Kay, who's an amazing guitar player from All Twins. He plays guitar with us. Roshin's doing backing vocals and playing piano. Sometimes we'll have uh, some brass, like trumpets and, and and saxophones as well. So yeah, it's it's getting bigger the band. But uh, yeah, it's great to have Roshin around, and she's coming on tour. She's going to do the supports as well. So. Um, delighted for her she's, she's, she's brilliant yeah well listen uh, well, best of luck with the tour as I say the album is out on Friday, Friday on, yeah. on the 7th yeah. um, you're going around Golden Disc Tours then around the country from the following day from Saturday yeah. uh, onwards and I mean when can people buy gigs to the next yeah, well, uh, our, tickets to the next yeah, gig well our Olympias are sold out we've got a show in the Ulster Hall at the start of uh, December I think there's a couple of tickets left for and uh, INEC in Killarney and we're announcing and uh, a gig for next summer I think uh, next week as well so that'll be uh, uh, we're going to announce that Alright keep your eyes peeled on the various social media channels uh, to do with the Coronas and you'll find details of uh, the gig in the summer like I say the new album Time Stopped it is out on Friday and here is If You Let Me the current single from that album Danny an absolute pleasure thanks a million thanks for coming into us Cheers Thank you The Hard Shoulder with Kieran Cuddy with Nissan Weekdays from 4 on News Talk.